Hello, I'm Princess Serena, not Princess Serena. As we say goodbye to 2020 and hello to 2021. I thought it'd be fun to show you my favorite additions to each of my collections that I acquired this year, which brings us to 20 pins that I got in 2020. Let's go. The movie that started it all, Toy Story. I love this pin. It actually came from a six pin mystery set. And this was to look like VHS's. I was only interested in getting this one. As you can see, it is super thick. But on this side, we got the logo. And I find it just really pops, literally in my collection. And it is my thickest Toy Story pin for sure. Next, we got a Bug's Life. I think this pin is absolutely adorable with Dot just idolizing Flick and Flick telling Dot something and they're on a leaf and then it has the logo of Bug's Life with a bug on it. And then you can't really see on the camera too well. It says 10th anniversary at the bottom. So since this film came out in 1998, this is quite old, but I managed to trade for it this year. Next, we got a Monsters Inc. hinge pin. So this one actually does open. So we have Boo's flowers and we got Mike and Solly on the other side. Now this is Loungefly. I was super impressed. This is the pin probably that really got me into looking at Loungefly releases because I wasn't a big fan of their releases before. Oh, and then it kind of looks like a mirror here. You can see me, hello. Next is my favorite Finding Nemo pin. And I actually remember trading for this the day before they announced schools were shutting down in March. And it's kind of ironic that they're in a tank and they're stuck there. <laughs> But this is one of my favorites because it has the whole tank gang. It's a limited edition 500 pin and it's from the pin event in 2019, Fairy Tales, as in a pet's tail. I recently bought this Ratatouille pin. It is from Disneyland Paris and I think it is so cute. We got Remy and his brother and they're saying, say cheese. So it's like they're taking a picture, but then it's the Eiffel Tower is literally made out of cheese. How perfect is this pin? There definitely wasn't any slim pickings in terms of Wally -E pins. It is one of my biggest collections. I'll link my video showing all my Wally -E pins in the description. So this one is a vault and then it opens to one of the cutest scenes in Disney history. It's just Wally -E taking care of Eve and he doesn't even know like what happened to her or anything that she shut down and it's also such a funny scene like i remember he definitely gets electrocuted here and then we have the luxo ball here in a very nice silver tone finish which makes it a very exquisite pin and it's a limited edition of 750. I don't collect up, but I have been collecting the Alien remixes. I recently decided to collect them all, but this is the Russell one. And I think this is the cutest one. How adorable does he look in his little uniform and his little flag? I think this pin is so funny. Anger is so angry that his fire from his head is popping all the popcorns. It's from Hong Kong and there is a series of them, but this is the only one I wanted. This is my favorite Hidden Mickey, definitely. And the whole set is gorgeous. I recently just completed the set. There's five other pins, but this one is my favorite. It just represents, you know, a beautiful scene. Definitely a tearjerker of when Miguel tries to get Coco to remember her father. And then he sings, remember me. And I just love the silhouette style of these pins. And it's from Hong Kong Disney. I also have some Pixar in general pins and when they first announced this I Collect series in the beginning of 2020 and I was just praying that there was a collection that represented one of mine, I thought maybe they'd have a Toy Story one just because that's the most popular Pixar film that I collect but this is even better case scenario, it is just Pixar in general so then the inside looks like that there are pins that actually exist by the way like I have the Coco Skull and I have a Luxo ball on the way. And it looks like a pin book. And then when you close it again, you see a few of the pins peeking through. And then this is actually a string. It's a limited edition of 2000. 
those that know me know that Disney Channel is my favorite and largest collection, which is kind of crazy because it is the hardest one to hunt for, but that's probably why I enjoy trying to find them as much as I do, because I know one day I can be a completist because there's not too many out there. So this is my favorite one on my main Disney Channel board. So it's Hannah Montana the movie. And then it opens like it's actually the DVD case. And I didn't know when I traded for this that this actually moves, which is super cool. And then it has a Disney Channel logo and then Dis Disney DVD. It really brings you back to a time when we actually watched DVDs. <laughs> this is a limited edition of 1500. My Disney Channel collection outgrew my custom Disney Channel board, which I will show in a future video. I'm just waiting for a couple more things to come in so I can show you a more recent look at it. So I put my High School Musical pins, which is my biggest Disney Channel collection. Not surprising, considering when I was a kid, I used to have a whole room decked out. Like, I'm not kidding. I had the pillowcases, the comforter, like everything. So this one was my favorite because it is sparkly, which makes a pin automatically better. And it has the Disney Channel logo over here. It has the Wildcat, lots of detail, says School's Out. High School Musical 2 is my favorite film of the three and it just has Mickey and friends as Gabriella and Troy and Sharpay and Ryan. I also have a small Disney Junior slash Playhouse Disney collection and I was a little too old to be watching this one but hot dog hot dog hot diggy dog it was a catchy theme song and this is definitely the most detailed Disney Junior pin I have. It is pin on pin, as you can see here. And I just like how it shows the clubhouse and the logo and just like it brings me back. It is so weird to see this one out of its igloo home because I have a custom board, which I also recently made a video on. And this one's my favorite because he's like a pin trader like me. He has his lanyard, it's like he's at Disney, he has his hat, and he's ready to go. And he's just so happy. Speaking of pins that represent Disney and pin trading, I have a small side collection of Disney pin trading pins. And this one is my favorite because he's literally on a computer and... This year, I've been online trading, so it is absolutely perfect. I collect Italy pins as well because I went in 2019, and this one's my favorite because it represents all the places I went. So I went to Venice, so it's Mickey on a gondola, and I went to Pisa, there's the Leaning Tower, and I went to Rome, there's the Colosseum, and I'm not sure if that's the Duomo in the background here or not. I'm gonna pretend it is because I went to Florence. I have a small collection of matching Minnie and Mickey pins. This is the one of the very few that I had to make the exception and get one. It's just both of them on it because I celebrate Hanukkah and the dreidel actually moves. I love interactive pins and they have gelt and I love how this one doesn't have a year especially because I know a lot of the Hanukkah ones do. I collect the Mickey flag heads of countries that I've been to so right now I just have Canada US and Italy but this one is my favorite because I'm from Canada and I know these are highly faked but I believe this one's a real one I had the fake one before but it had a lot more glare on it more dips and this one just looks very smooth and it's slightly smaller so I think this is the real one I also collect Disney pins that represent different trips I've made. So I do have every year I've been to Disney, but this one's my favorite because I actually made the drive from San Francisco to Hollywood with my dad. So this one's perfect. And then Disneyland is in California. And if you get all of this set, it will actually make a huge map of the United States, which is really cool. I recently just completed the Pixar alphabet. I didn't have the M when I showed it in my last video, but I recently traded for it, so I'm super excited to get that in the mail. But it's funny that A is my favorite letter because Good Dinosaur is definitely nowhere near my favorite Pixar film, but I just really like the colors in this. I really like how he's right up against the A and how the background really represents the movie with the mountains. I'm gonna add one more pin to make it 21 because we are in 2021 now. 
So I also have a non-Disney pin collection of different plays I've seen, and I actually saw Mary Poppins right before I started pin collecting, so I didn't have a Mary Poppins pin, but this year I traded for one so I could put it with my play pins. And I really like ones that are very subtly Disney, I guess. Like it's not super flashy for the play pins. And I thought this one was nice because Mary Poppins is a silhouette. Here's a quick overview of all the pins I showed that represent all my collections. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more pin related content from me. And I'd like to know what your favorite pin that I showed was and what your favorite pin you acquired in 2020 was. And as always, please take care of yourselves and have a magical day. Bye.